Today we have a much more personal video. I will be talking about how I got into this field of energy healing and working with angels. So, my name is Maria and I want to welcome you to my channel. If it's your first time here, I invite you to go to the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new Reiki healing, a new angel guidance or a new meditation here in my channel. So I had a few people actually asking me to talk about my path through the spirituality, my path through Reiki healing, through energy healing, and also how it happened to me to work with angels. And that's what I'm doing today. I just want you to understand that working with angels or working with energy healing, this is available and possible to all of us. This is not something that I myself have. It's not a gift that I received. It's just something that I developed that was actually inside of me. But it also is inside of you. It's inside of all of us. We all have our inner energy healing inside of us and we are all open to communicate with angels. They are here for all of us. So just want you to understand that because it's a matter of actually developing this side of you. So what happened to me was a couple of years back I was going through a very difficult time of my life. I kind of lost myself. I was not recognizing me anymore in the way I was thinking, in the way I was acting, in the way I was feeling. I felt very low, very depressed, very sad, completely without energy. I didn't want to do anything. I was always inside my home. I was always quiet. I was always very, very low, very sad. I just did not have enough energy to go outside and do anything. I wanted to stay closed. I wanted to stay just in my room all the time and do absolutely nothing. And I was, that's why it was triggering me this feeling of losing myself and that's when I felt like I hit rock bottom because I did not recognize myself anymore in that person that I was becoming because I was always a very positive person I was always a very calm person and I was losing myself I was always full of friends around me and I was always very happy and active and I completely cut this kind of energy so I was feeling very low and because I was just hopeless, I was trying so hard actually. I was watching videos, I was trying to do something about it, but nothing was working, I didn't know what else to do. And one day, one of my friends came to me and he said, why don't you try going for Reiki healing? Because they, this may help you to at least feel a little bit more positive. And I was like, you know what? I will try. I have nothing to lose. I don't know what else to do. So let's see how it goes. This the only thing that can that I can get from this is something positive because nothing worse can actually happen. And that was the way I was I was seeing my life. I was completely blind. So what happened was I started to do Reiki healing. I started to do Reiki therapy. And this in maybe two or three sessions. My life changed completely, everything shifted, it was like my true self came to life again. Everything changed, everything shifted, I felt even better than I was before, I felt even more me than I was before. I finally found myself again. I always use this expression. This work is towards finding ourselves again, finding who we truly are, finding who we are in spirit. And that's what I started to find when I actually started doing these Reiki sessions. So like I told you, the shift and the power of this energy healing was so strong for me. It was so amazing. I started to see my life in such a different perspective and my uh, spirituality started to grow and I started to have my spiritual awakening. 
So I, I started to learn more, I started to research more, trying to understand how all these shifts were happening. If you're going through your spiritual awakening, you know how it is. There's so much information coming through and you feel so excited, you want to learn even more, you want to understand yourself even more. And that's exactly what happened to me. It was a, a very special, very specific point of my life that I felt that my path took a completely different way, a completely positive, loving, divine way. I was guided towards this path. And that's when I started to feel this need of helping other people as well that were going through the same, helping people to find themselves again, just like I did. That's why I believe so strong, so strongly in the power of Reiki healing, in the power of energy healing, because this can change your life completely. This can shift everything. This can bring you towards your happiness. This can bring you towards your peace. This can bring you towards the feeling of feeling a whole thing, feeling completely connected with yourself, with your energy, with the divine above and all around us. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I took my Reiki training. I did Reiki 1, level 1, level 2, level 3, Reiki master, Reiki master teacher. And I just started developing this inside of me. And from the now, now talking about the angels part, from the very first time I did my Reiki level one, when you do Reiki level one, actually at all the levels, you have to go through 21 days of detoxing, cleansing, and applying Reiki in yourself every day for 21 days. That's exactly what I did. So in the very first day that I started doing my Reiki on myself, I started seeing this guy standing by my side wearing green. And, and, and always I was always very clairvoyant, actually, very clairaudient. I just did not understand how to work with that. I didn't understand until then how that was possible. I thought it was just something my mind was creating. I thought there was just something normal for everybody. But when I started my Reiki, I realized that no, that actually it was something that I was developed, that I was developing even more. So from the first day I started applying Reiki, I started to see this guy and I started to see even more uh, spirits of light coming through and helping me. And this guy was always there, standing, looking at me with a very sweet and a very kind uh, smile and look on his eyes. But I was just still a little bit um, resistant to actually communicate with him because I wasn't sure if that was something my mind was creating or not or what was going on. Everything was still new for me. But still, I kept going every day and that guy was always there wearing green, looking at me and watching me do my Reiki. And then I remembered that my Reiki master told us in our class that whenever we saw anyone, whenever we uh, clairvoyantly visualized someone or something, to actually ask this person, who is he, who is she, what is he doing there, why Why is this person uh, coming through to you? And in in one day I, was, I had this courage to actually approach this guy and ask him who he was, ask him what he was doing there, why he was showing up every time I was doing Reiki. And he very uh, sweet, and he, in a very sweet way, he looked at me, he smiled, and he said that he was Archangel Raphael. And he was going to start working with me every time, all the time, because he said that I was a healer and he was going to be by my side, helping me and working with me in my healing uh, progress, in my healing work in this lifetime. So until then, I heard about angels. I heard about especially Michael, Gabriel and Raphael, but I had no idea about them, about their uh, work, about their colors, I didn't know anything about it. I just heard their names because they're more popular. 
But anyway, so I got this message from Archangel Raphael. I finished my Reiki session and I ran to my computer to search about this because I wanted to make sure that I was not going crazy. And when I searched about Archangel Raphael, I found out that his color is indeed green and that he is indeed the angel of healing. He is the one that works with healers, energy healers, um, in hospitals, doctors, nurses, and all kinds of healing work. He's always there. Even if the person is not aware of his presence, he's still there. He always helps and guides us healers. And I was so glad that I found this information because this confirmed to myself that this was real, this is really happening, and this is what's gonna come up for me in my path. And then the more I practice Reiki, the more I, I started to learn, the more I started to receive other archangels and communicate with them and understand their energy, understand their what they were doing here, why what why were they showing up. And that's how I got into the angels, that's how I started working with them. It was something that actually happened quite automatically for me. So throughout my path I started I also took a crystal healing uh, certification because I wanted so strong to actually bring the crystals to my Reiki practice just to amplify the energy I was giving to the receiver and also I took angel healing training just to understand again to understand better how I could bring the angels actually to help me in my Reiki healing and I took the angel card reading I took archangel life coaching everything that is related to angels I started searching more and more to learn more uh, to bring them to my life and also I took a meditation instructor training because I for me meditation is, is something just so special and so so important for every person in this planet if people meditated more we would certainly have a different kind of energy in our whole world but anyways we need to work with ourselves this is our path this is our life, this is our energy, so as long as each one of us take care of ourselves, then we can shift things around us. So that's why I also took the meditation instructor training and I just, I simply don't stop. There's always something I want to learn more, there's always something I want to improve, there's always something I want to understand better, just to become even more higher vibrational. And that was my story, my dear beautiful soul, that's how the angels started working with me. And I work with them now every single day for everything I need. They, they are just part of my life, they are part of who I am and I'm very grateful actually to have managed to open my heart to receive them and to release any judgments and to just receive their messages and their kindness and their guidance without judgment, just allowing them, allowing these messages, allowing this channeling that I do from their energy, allowing it to flow through me. I always tell them that I am here to be just a channel for them to work on you or in anyone else around me. I tell them to just work through me and I'm here to help them and I'm here to receive their help as well. So I have them working with me every single day for everything I need, for every work I do, for uh, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, while I'm sleeping as well. I have them all the time around me, especially, especially with Archangel Raphael because I have a very deep connection with him. I have a very friendly actually connection with him because I told you from the very uh, beginning he's by my side. Uh, and also, of course, I have the other angels with me all the time, but Archangel Raphael is a very uh, close friend, <laughs> per se. Um, but that's my story, my dear beautiful. So I, I hope you, you liked it. I hope this also triggers in you this um, desire of inviting the angels to your life and knowing how important it is. They are something so amazing, so beautiful, so pure and full of love. They are here to help us. That's the only thing that they're here to do is to help us, to bring us understanding and compassion and guidance to our lives. So it's a matter of allowing them to be with us. It's a matter of inviting them to be part of your life. Because once you do so, 
then they can step forward and help you in anything you need. But until you don't invite them, until you don't allow them to actually show you that they are by your side, they cannot do anything because they are following our free will. There is nothing they can do. So remember every day to invite your angels to be with you, to invite them to be part of your life, to be guiding you, to be walking by your side every step of the way. Okay, beautiful. So I think I already talked too much about me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to uh, get more personal videos, more uh, stories that happened to me, Please let me know in the comments below, I'll be happy to make more videos like this and to also reply to you and help you in anything you need. If you want to get a personal angel guidance or a personal Reiki healing with me, you're more than welcome to go to my website and you will get all the information there. And also, if you would like to support my work, you're more than welcome and I'm very grateful to have you on my Patreon page. I will leave the link for both in the description below.